Hello and welcome to Mobs Video Trainings. Today we will be installing Windows Server 2012 R2 Hypervisor. This is my preview installation build 9431. I have just installed it and I'm running it on a machine. Let's see the configuration and things, other things. This is a Lenovo W530 machine with 32 GB laptop. Uh, 32 GB RAM, 64 bit operating system, and the processor is 3740QM, which actually supports HD and VTX uh, for uh, hypervisor. And let's see the server manager. These are the tools that's uh, that are actually located for you and at your disposal and this is where you actually manage and install server roles and features and from here we're going to s install the server role for Hyper-V hypervisor this is the role server we were, we're going to install and this is the module for partial management and the management tools for the hypervisor GUI. So it's pretty basic installation. All you have to do is click next and choose the network card that will be we will be sharing uh, for the physical network card and it will be piped to have all the hypervisor that uh, gets installed into the hyper-v manager. So virtual switch is actually the software component that will be using this card to transmit everything on the other side of the network so I'm going to install CRUD SSP because it's easier to install it doesn't take much um, configurations and for the demo purposes it's easier to set up so I have done. Uh, I don't need to go to all the details to install Kerberos and managing it. So this is this will be sql on backslash vm. I have already created the hard folder. So click next. If required, uh, a restart the service restarts automatically without additional notifications. So you don't you don't do these things, right? So uncheck it and start the installation. I'm going to pause the installation and we'll I'll be right back as soon as the installation gets done. and the installation for the Hyper-V for the management tools and the power for all the tools and the GUI management tools has been installed so as you can see a restart is pending on the machine so let's close it and let's see the server manager what she's actually saying it's not showing up over here on the machine Restart pending, restart pending again on every everywhere you can see the restart is pending. So I'm going to close it now and I'll be back when I restart the machine. Well, uh, I have just restarted the machine and here you can see Hyper V is installed on the server machine but the performance counters has not been started so let's go down over here server name start performance counters so it will be waiting on the data of the performance of the machines so you, you, can, you can do uh, um, all the installation options and all set, set, set the performance counters as you like the BPA 
it will be coming up as soon as you install SCVMM and start it managing. So let's have a look at the server manager. Sorry, the hypervisor, the hyper V manager. There it is. This is the virtual machine connection. You can uh, connect to the virtual machines that are running and this is the actual manager so as you can see this is my machine name these are the panel where you will be installing all the virtual machines these are the checkpoints and the, all the details would be coming on on this pane and this is the point where you need to get to install all your network card uh, if it's an inter external network or it's an internal network or private network. Private network would be uh, mm, let's say you have multiple um, virtual machine installed in this machine so virtual network, would, uh, private network would be would allow you to install and configure and uh, or configure the network card so that you can you can connect only to the VM, no internal network, no external connections, nothing else. External network would be letting you allowed, uh, would would let you uh, go to the internet, connect with other other VMs and things like that. And for the host occasionally, an internal network would do the opposite. So as you can see, when the hypervisor installed. I have already selected this machine, uh, selected this network card to be binded with the hypervisors, so that w whenever you can you install the any VM, it will get uh, the all the hypervisors will get the network card by default. So let's start installing a virtual machine. Uh, first click on the machine say um, win 2k12 r2 data center store the VM in this in this location this will be the generation 2 64-bit versions and all the supporting uh, options for secure boot SCSI boot and PXE boot for the network adapter so make sure that you select generation 2 for the upgraded options click next I'm going to install uh, 8 gigabytes of memory I'm not using the dynamic memory so it expands as it requires so I'm limiting it to use 8, megabyte, 8 gigabyte right now but when I install Active Directory and on uh, over it Exchange, SharePoint, Link, things like that. I will be using different VMs for each of them. Connections. This is where you select the network card. Click Next. I will be needing not more than 50 GB of the space. And operating system installation. Let's select the oper operating system over here. on the desktop this is my preview open select it click next and hit the finish button before that you can check check back this is the name of your machine uh, VM name that's the generation type of the VM that's the RAM requirements and that I set earlier that's your network card that's the hard drive it's going to look you install all the files into that location on the VM so you call on backslash VM and will be installed from the ISO image I already provided click finish it will be creating the disks and all necessary files into the selected folder so let's double click on it fire it up
and the hypervisor sorry the first machine gets installed right now installation since this is a uh, trial machine and all the trial keys are actually produced from the Microsoft site just copy it this is not a your AVMA key this is just a system key type in the key click next and I will need the GUI version of it I'm not going to install the server core right now accept the licensing terms click next custom install and this is where you get to partition your total space that I have allocated 50 GB of it uh, but I'm going to need all of it at the same same hard drive and, and in the same location so this is where you get to see all the installation and everything so I'm going to turn off the microphone for getting the installation done and I'll be back um, when the installation gets done Now the installation has been completed and you get to insert the administrator password. Type in the type in the password. And there is the three finger salute. yes the network is already found and here is your server as you can see accept the uh, accept the error reporting over here and over here these two are somewhat uh, different not equal sounds are not turned on things are this is a preview I think this is going to Microsoft is going to get rid of it but I don't know for sure and turn on the services this is the first time it actually gets running start all the services okay all the task has been done so you got your first virtual machine and it's functional as you can see let's turn on Internet Explorer use the recommended settings 
for right now you'll get the security configuration is enabled so this is a server it's not meant to get to the internet anyhow other than you manage it by uh, software update services so that you don't get to need uh, get to you don't need to uh, go to the internet let's do some screen tuning let's make it a bit bigger keep changes yeah as you can see continue to prompt blah 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 okay this is my site so it's a bit heavy because of all the pictures and things like that as you can see the installation will be uh, installation is uh, for exchange is provided with all the screenshots and things like that so if you wish have a look and since we got our first virtual machine and this is the end for this session we'll next thing next time we'll be installing the domain controller with Windows Server 2012 R2 thanks for watching the video